got to say, I'm really happy to be here. Um, I want to talk about a little about how I got into ASU. So this is my fifth year at Madison. So if you feel old, I feel ancient. <laughs> um, but this I'm is the first year. Are we? No, we're not. <laughs> but um, so this past this year was the first year that I checked out ASU. Um, before my first year at Madison, I was secretary for CASA, um, involved with AAIB. But I never had the opportunity to check out ASU. But when I did, I gotta say I was super glad to do it. Um, I'm Korean American, but I never really wanted to embrace the Korean side of it. Um, to the point where even if I saw other Asians, they seemed foreign to me. But I'm, I'm Asian too, so I'll never be white, but that's what I want it to be. Um, so when I came to ASU though, having been involved for years in other Asian American orgs, I gotta say ASU definitely helped me want to uh, learn more about the Korean side of who I am. So with that being said, I really wanted to be in the behind the scenes part of ASU to maybe help out uh, people who were in my shoes coming in. So, um, what I offer, I'm running for finance and social, and I had the opportunity to work under PEMA as fin in the finance committee this year. Um, I'm also an econ major, so I think that is a parallel uh, that and I'm very interested in the business, finance, acumen, part of uh, what finance chair is all about. In terms of social chair, um, throughout my years here, I've had the honor to make a lot of connections with various Asian American orgs, such as CASA, VSA, uh, AAIB. And having been here five years, <laughs> one more. <laughs> I, I think what I. What I bring is, more than anything, knowledge, because I've seen how orgs can succeed and how they have failed. And, you know, talking to the members, what they're frustrated about, and bringing all of that, uh, I think that's a valuable asset uh, in a leadership position to have. So in terms of social chair, I think I bring a lot of networking um, that definitely will be beneficial. And please, no questions. <laughs> Questions? No question. <laughs> What's the position that you want most in? Uh, I'd prefer finance, just because I was in the finance committee. No questions? No questions. Do you have any grant writing experience? Well, you know what? I have not personally written a grant, but working under PEMA. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it like that. What are you with? Wow. Oh. Oh. Wait, you have, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for Asian Army, <laughs> I helped write up, not write up, but I helped gather information for housing for the guests. So I know a little bit about the process. And so uh, if I'm able to be finance chair, I think, I'll, uh, and I think I'll have the resources to learn hands-on. Good question, Jason. Put your hand down, Amy. <laughs> Amy, answer a question. Okay, what do you intend to do if you are social chair Well, you know, um, you know what they say, you shoot out the Facebook event, whoever says they're going to cut that in half, and that's the actual <laughs> so, I mean, we're not going to be able to appeal to everyone. But, no, I mean, like, right there, during yeah. their event. Oh, they don't, they don't want to be there. Yeah. What you going to do? <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Um, I, th I think what I bring to the table, just me, uh, my personality, I would try my best to make it fun, comfortable, so hopefully they wouldn't feel like walking out the door. <laughs> yeah, but given that event, I think, uh, you know, with you know, preparation, having good people around you, <coughs> that won't be likely, hopefully. Can I go on for a question? Yeah. So, similar to Amy's question, so, what if there's like an individual or two during a social event they don't feel included or feel a part of the group? What would you right. do in that situation? Well, um, if I'm in a leadership position, I definitely would feel an obligation to make sure that everyone feels comfortable. So I would personally go up to them, uh, even if you're just sitting next to them, and like participating in discussions together, 
Um, I think that'll go a long way. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> All y'all. Um, so as a finance chair, like, um, you can't do this like job on your own. But how would you like? Would you want to like bring in like committee members, or if so, like how would you do that? Absolutely. I mean, for example, I definitely felt more involved when you delegated tasks to us in the finance committee. This, even though like these are things that you could have done yourself, but delegating tasks definitely makes. Uh, those members feel more involved, and they have a personal stake in it. Because uh, if I'm given a task, I want to do well. Um, so yeah, absolutely, I would definitely want to have a committee uh, delegate tasks to make them feel involved. So if um, you don't get finance chair and you're social chair, we one of the problems at ASU is we have is problems with retention and making people want to come to the things, how would you make, make, make ASU better so that more people would come and more people would stay in ASU? True. I think an important part is we got to start doing different things because I feel like you're in and you're out. People already know, oh, around this time they're going to throw this. Around this time this is going to happen. So I think an important thing is try new things. Um, and as such, I can't say off the top of my head, oh, I have a bag of tricks, like, I, I want to do these things. But I think talking with people, because um, I think maybe perhaps you have some ideas, other people who are passionate about these things have ideas, and it's important to communicate them. So new things, communication, hopefully leads to retention. Amy! Going back to uh, Sam's question, which was based off of my first question, what are you going to do when you see individuals or people not being involved, even if you aren't in a position of leadership or you don't feel obligated? Sure. Um, like being a fifth year and being part of CASA, when, my, when I was in CASA my first year and I was secretary, um, I remember one of my first meetings at the SAC, they had this little golden star. Because I guess back in the day, I don't know if they do it now, but it was like Org of the Year or something. So I remember seeing that and I was like, wow. We're going to get it again. But I got so discouraged with their structure, what they were all about at that time, that I quit, which is one of my greatest regrets in college. I wish I would have stuck it out, and maybe I could have turned it around. So even if I'm not in a leadership position, um, I, I'm really passionate about this. Um, it's, time's running out. I've only recently started to <laughs> look into <laughs> <laughs> but career inside, so I have a personal stake in it. So given a situation where people are not involved, but I'm not in a leadership position, um, I would still feel obligated to make sure they feel involved. <laughs> Any other questions? I have one. Um, you listed co-president as one of your possible positions you'd like to run for. Possible, yes. Uh, I'd like to know why and if... Uh, how would you be suited for that position? Yeah, um, I threw that down as a product of my uh, drive. Uh, I have a, I feel like I have a personal stake in ASU, um, but I definitely feel like there are many individuals here who are more qualified uh, for that position. But I I put that down because I feel like my uh, skills that come from my personality, I could be a good uh, glue guy that helps. Uh, put together because there are so many different people, different personalities, everyone brings something different to the table. But in terms of co-chair, when you have to manage people, um, when you have to manage egos perhaps, or manage different ideas, uh, I feel like I could be very suited for that, that specific role. Any more questions? Yeah. Thank you.